can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Given this equation, 16 raised to the power of x squared plus y plus 16 raised to the power of y squared plus x equals 1. Then the goal is to find the value of x and y. Pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question. Because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so given this equation, the goal is to find the value of x and y that satisfies this equation. And now, to answer this, first thing is to analyze the given question. Because 16 raised to some power, whether this power, this exponent is positive or negative, this number is always greater than 0. And this is true the same thing with the 16 raised to the power of y squared plus x. This is also greater than 0. And now, when this scenario happens, one inequality comes to my mind, and that is the AMGM inequality, wherein if x and y are both greater than 0, then x plus y is greater than or equal to 2 times the square root of x and y. The equality holds true when x is equal to y. By the way, let's use this AMGM inequality to answer this question. So applying the AMGM inequality, since 16 raised to the power of x squared plus y and 16 raised to the power of y squared plus x are both greater than 0, so we can say that the sum of these two is greater than or equal to 2 times the square root of the product of 16 raised to the power of x squared plus y and 16 raised to the power of y squared plus x. Now let's focus on this result. And what we're going to do is to simplify the right-hand side of our inequality. Take note that we have the same base. So we, if we multiply this, we can add their exponent. So I have 16 raised to the power of x squared plus y plus y squared plus x. But as you can see, we can rearrange some terms a little bit like this. And now from here, notice this 16. This 16 is 2 raised to the fourth power. And now using some loss of exponent, we can multiply this 4 to x squared plus x plus y squared plus y. And it looks something like this. Alright, now let's focus on this result. Now, another thing to notice here is this 4x squared plus 4 and 4y squared plus 4y. If we add 1 to it, they are now perfect square trinomial. So why not? Let's add 1 to these two terms, and let's add 1 to these two terms, and then subtract 2. So 1 plus 1 is 2, then minus 2, we add 0. Next, we know this is a perfect square trinomial. So we can rewrite this as 2x plus 1 raised to the power of 2, plus these three terms, we can rewrite this as 2y plus 1 raised to the power of 2, then bring down negative 2. And now let's focus on this result. Now, focusing on this negative 2, using some loss of exponent, we can rewrite this number inside the radical sign as 2 raised to the power of 2x plus 1 squared plus 2y plus 1 squared all over 2 raised to the second power. So this represents negative 2. All right? Now, this number is a perfect square, so we can pull out 1 half outside the square root. So this will give us 2 over 2, and this 2 over 2 simply equal to 1. And now, let's focus on this result. Now, from here, notice that we know the value of 16 raised to the power of x squared plus y plus 16 raised to the power of y squared plus y. This is just 1. So we can replace this with 1. And now, if we want 1 equivalent to the square root of 2 raised to the power of 2x plus 1 squared plus 2y plus 1 squared, this exponent of 2 must be equal to 0. So to make it equal to 1, the exponent of 2 must be 0. And from here, we can now solve for the value of x and y. Take note, this expression is raised to the second power. Therefore, this expression must be greater than or equal to 0. And this is also true to this term. So this term is also greater than or equal to 0. And take note, if we add these two numbers, we get 0. 
And in order to get a 0, this expression 2x plus 1 equals 0 and this 2y plus 1 also equal to 0. And now let's focus on this result and let's solve for the value of x and y. So solving for x in this equation, subtract 1 then divide both sides by 2, we get x equals negative 1 over 2. Solving y in this equation, subtract 1 on both sides, divide both sides by 2, we get also y equals negative 2. Therefore, the values of x and y in this equation, to make this equal to 1, simply equal to negative 1 half, and y is also negative 1 over 2. But before we end this video, of course, let's check our answer. So here's the checking. So first replace x and y with negative 1 over 2, and then simplify, and here's the step. And at the end, we have 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2, and this leads to 1 equals 1. Therefore, given this equation, 16 raised to the power of x squared plus y plus 16 raised to the power of y squared plus x, equals 1, then we get x equals negative 1 over 2 and y equals negative 1 over 2 also. And as always, we are done.